Google's DEI leader, Adriel Parker, is very upset that parents are teaching their kids not to judge others based on their skin color. DEI instructs employees to judge each other based on their skin color in the workplace. This is an illegal practice in the U.S. Where are the lawsuits? In the year 2023, it also amazes me how many people are like, well, I don't see color or it would be so much better if we just didn't worry about someone's skin tone. That's true. I would argue that that is true. I seem to remember there was some prominent figure in the United States during a time of civil unrest and racial discrepancy who once said you shouldn't be judging people based on the color of their skin, but the content of their character. I wonder what ever happened to that guy. He seems like he would be a prominent figure in the year 2024, or maybe he would not like how many black people are disgracing his good name and his good speech you as an individual are contributing to the problem because our broader society sees color and it's not just physically seeing a color there is so much more to it than just that and if you don't understand that you are again part of the problem so instead of saying i'm part of the problem how about you explain it to me instead of trying to be campy behind this really cheap background music and it's just yeah. to keep telling people that over and over is so frustrating and i was just on tiktok and there's a trend where parents are teaching their kids not to see color quote unquote and i'm like okay so the next round of people that are going to be joining our workforce this next generation are going to be dealing with the same issues that we're dealing with now because What do you mean? I thought the whole purpose was to not have these moments where you have all these ugly looking white children come up to you and judge you based on your skin color. How are you mad at people who are putting in the work to not have you look like you're a babbling idiot crying about racism and how racist everybody is? I thought that was the goal. I thought that was the plan. I thought that was the reason. I thought everybody was supposed to do the work because it's important to do the work because if if you don't do the work, you're indoctrinated with all the supremacy and it's racism and it's bad and you should be doing the work. I thought that was the game. How come when people are actually doing the game and they're treating people with respect, dignity, and all circumstances, do we actually still have the problem of, well, if you actually look at it our way, it's actually a problem because we have a society full of people who just see color. So wanting to change that and starting with the children is now the bad thing? It's impossible. You can't keep up with these people because they spend so much time wanting to bitch at you all day that when you actually do the shit that they bitch at you about you're still the problem because you're not doing it the way they want you to you're not doing it the correct way you're not doing it in the way that matters which is probably giving you some money probably making sure that somebody cares about your personal little bitch ass feelings probably making sure that oh my god you have to understand that you're so oppressed and let me rub you on your head a little bit because oh my god you're such a victim and you have all these bad things happening to you because you have all these people out there trying to hurt you based on your skin color and so let me do the work necessary to educate myself there are people who spend thousands of dollars who believe in this concept that you can be belittled in front of people of color and it will somehow change your ways. It'll somehow change everything. It'll somehow change every single facet in your body to where all the molecular structures deep inside of you will no longer look at somebody and judge them based on their race. I understand that people want to, you know, play the victim and be like, it's really hard to be white. It's super hard. It's super hard. People are racist towards us too. What does that mean? Okay. A person of color said they didn't like you because you were white. Okay. That's not racism. And as much as people want to say that racism isn't always systematic, it kind of is though. Especially in this country. Because racism towards people of color has actually prevented them from moving forward. You know why? You know why you can't be racist towards white people? It's because we have generational wealth. People can hate me all day long for being white. You know? And it, it can totally bother you if people don't like you because you're white. That's okay. But you can't say that it's racism because you've never been held back in your life because you are white. 
And from your photo, I can see that you're probably a woman. If you've ever been held back in your life in any way, it's because you're a woman, not because you are white. Okay? We have never been denied loans, denied housing, denied a job, denied basic human rights because of the color of our skin. And let's be fucking real. If there is a person of color in front of me being like, yo, I fucking hate you because you're white. They don't actually hate me because I'm white. They hate the history of this fucking country and they hate the privilege that comes with the color of my skin and how I don't have to work as hard as they do. And I feel like that's fucking valid. And if you don't, I don't give a I want to ask also to stop acting shocked. So part of white feminism is, is acting so surprised when it we tell you. But it is. Why are you telling us not to act the way that we act? If it is surprising. It is impossible that that concept is something that people actually bought into because these white saviors truly believe it is perfect for me to waste my time in such a loud degree and say, hey, everybody, here's what I did. I spent 2000 5000 10000 of my hard-earned dollars just to be belittled in front of people, and now I no longer think my racist thoughts. I no longer speak when a black person is speaking. I no longer talk back. I no longer try to get more information from black people when they're saying something that's clearly a fucking lie, like when somebody fakes a hate crime or when somebody fakes a racial incident, because that's me and my privilege speaking. And I no longer want to contribute to shit like that. Im fucking possible. There's 11 more seconds of this shit. How, how do we end? Because to say you don't see color, you don't see me. You don't care to acknowledge the struggles that people like me face. And we're not looking for problems. We're not. <laughs> Madam, you're going to sit there and say people should do the work. You're probably one of these people who will say something like the white people should do the work. And they do the work. And you're now saying, well, nobody's recognizing me and my struggles and what I have to go through. No, you dumbass. They are. When they're sitting there and saying, hey, this country has a history of treating people so badly based on their skin color. And we have fought really hard to get a structure of equality put in place to where people don't have to feel as that they are somehow lesser than because of their skin color. And even though we've put in the work for that, there are still examples out there and there are still people out there who will judge you based on their skin color i am raising you correctly my small child that i birthed having coitus i am raising you correctly so that you understand that when you grow up older you should not be judging people in a negative fashion based on their skin color you should be judging them based on their character how they act how they treat people how they speak to people because that's what's more important and you should never and Ever, 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 ever judge somebody based on their skin color. Do you understand, little Johnny or little Susie? What's that? You do? Perfect. Because how could we possibly go about it any other way? You want to give money, I bet. You want to throw out some donations. You think all these concepts that you have in your mind are the proper way to end this random fight of you feeling a certain way because your personal feelings are hurt, when in reality, it's not going to go down like that. No amount of money is going to get you to shut the fuck up. No amount of money is going to get y'all to actually feel like the problem's been solved. What'll actually work out and what'll actually do something very, very great is you have people teaching the younger generation not to be dicks to everybody. That's all you got to do. But for some reason, that's just not even good enough.